Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at another uh, malware type of thing that has been distributed via YouTube. So a lot of the hack channels from the malware that I've already shown you, a lot of times they end up distributing this. So firstly, let's just, this is Internet Explorer. No one likes you, Internet Explorer. We don't, we don't like you, we like Chrome. Not their fault, but, but they have been hacked. And the channel is called Green Pool Ball, and they are uploading stuff such as CSGO free cheat, undetected, PUBG light hack, free Fortnite undetected hack on Android. So I'm going to be avoiding the Android ones because I don't really have a good way of emulating that. But Android malware is a thing, and that is, of course, what that is. It's not legit. There were, yeah, okay, now that's a less intrusive place. Okay. Green pool. I'm going to go on YouTube.com. Green pool. This is his channel, which has unfortunately been turned into this type of thing. This is clearly a very different type of content to what the shoes are used to post. You can find the. You can find this here. No, I don't want to. Don't want to be clicking on the VMware tab. Okay. Download free CSGO cheat. I don't know if this site even actually has. Oh, this is a this is a download manager. Okay. So I think it just if it finds any of those files, I think it's just supposed to nuke itself. So I guess what we could we could try out something I have recently found on the internet. Here we go. So we've now got this, which essentially pretends to be a real solid state drive, and we've enabled a couple of other options that completely disguise the VM. So now we just have to install the anti VM aware. Oh, oh, it doesn't doesn't look like it needs doesn't. Okay, seems to have done its job. So. Well, the shaman's done its job. Yeah, this is just the. We've already mod modified the MAC address. Now all we have to do is restart this. And what should now happen, we can check in device manager just to verify that there is no obvious signs of VMware. Device, device manager. There we go. Nope. Tencent, not no VMware here. Other network Intel, no VMware. Yep, no. You see any VMware? I don't. Okay. Oh, display adapter. Yeah, that's some standard VGA. Look at what it doesn't say VMware. Okay. So now I don't think we can change the screen. I mean, might. Oh, we can. Okay, let's just go for 720p. Make that a bit more usable. <sighs> now we're just going to run. See if it changes anything. Whoa! <laughs> and there we go. That is how you actually do it. So, I guess this could also be a video. And I'm assuming that's consenting to something I don't want. Okay, download save. That was actually the one I didn't want. Extra options. Let's just see. Oh. Oh. Boom. That was simply an adware bundler. Maybe this one is important. Okay. 
So that one we're just going to assume says I accept the terms and conditions. That this is going to hack my computer or something. I don't know. So now we have the actual. Should be more than zero. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Maybe. It... Wait, is it not even going to be? <laughs> it's not even actually a file. Okay. I was expecting more. You know, I, I came here expecting some... Let's just rename this, just see if there's actually nothing. But I think it only shows 0kb if it... Yep, no, that's just an empty file. <laughs> okay, let's just try and download it one more time. Let's just let it install all the adware this time. I don't mind. You know, it's funny how it just... I had it detected VMware last second. Maybe we just got to reboot it. That's actually remarkable how well that. So I guess we've now got, if nothing else, the malware was a bit disappointing, but the <laughs> now got a good way of dealing with VMware malware. I'm just going to clean this VM and then just going to lock it as for VM aware testing. Okay. Yeah. So it just doesn't. So we're gonna not. Okay, now we can. So it's downloading 64 megabytes. Does it? No, that wasn't. So maybe it crashes? Oh, no, no, it is. It did run something. Maybe that was just the. Ooh, okay, now we have malware. Maybe. DJF sad. Oh! Go, go, go! Boom. And this looks just like... What does this file do? InterVP... Oh, it's in is this... InterVPN? Oh, but that's looking like auto it, so I think we have possibly installed some sort of will create variant that will just steal your information. So, I guess this can sort of be a less. Oh, oh, yeah, this is definitely installing stuff it shouldn't. So, first thing to keep in mind is it is always safe to delete anything in temp. Snatch. Oh, Snatchball. What on earth is Snatchball machines? Let's open this up. I don't think we downloaded that. Snatchball. So what is it supposed to do? What is it supposed to... Okay, I need .run. Oh, they thought it was safe. Well, it's virus total, this one as well. Oh, total AV again. <laughs> They're determined. Oh, I think... Okay, okay. Let's just go on Wikipedia and just check this, but I think we now have adware. Maybe not. That looked... Looked like ads were being inserted. Like, Google does have ads, but that looked like more ads than usual. But I don't know. Okay, we want to drag Snatchball, which is like the sketchiest. Sketchball. Has an un... Keyboard activity. No, that's... This is a keylog. Results. Dell.exe, DevTools, Newton... Yeah, this is either a rat or start a bat. Okay, we'll let's just see what it does. Let's, run, let's throw a pause command on here. Okay. 
don't have high hopes for oh snatch ball on kind of traps.gen behavior. So it detects a debug environment, but of course we don't have a debug environment. Okay, that's Yeah, that's malware. Okay. Just nuke all of this out. FX API log file, okay. Temp programs. Anywhere that we see EXEs in app data, never okay. It's kind of the first rule of like computers is if you see an exe hi left's desad zero bytes i don't know <sighs> maybe it nukes itself vpn vr well we don't want it whatever it is identities yeah i don't think that maybe that's microsoft and Okay, that's from Chrome. It's technically not safe to just delete stuff from app data, but chance of anything going wrong is relatively low. Relative. So program data, not the place where they should not be ma should not be ex neutral. Okay, program files. Enter VPN. Does this open? Okay, this actually does look like a VPN. It'd be so weird. This kind of looks like a fake VPN, but they've actually put effort in. It's not just like a keylogger, it's actually a legit. Click here to reconnect, okay. Okay, compile errors. No, we do not want to start you with Windows. And now we're going to uninstall you. This is super broken, but... Okay, that didn't go as planned, so we're just going to... Oh. File our folder is open in the program. Okay. That's now gone. Check, check 64 bit. Per okay. If also good. No sketchy processes. Now, this is probably the best way to catch anything that runs with your computer starting up is auto runs. Ooh. Okay, these don't. Yeah, this seems like this is coming from adware. Just because it's for some reason in French and this computer is in English, but it's also just run malware bytes. Also good to have more software installed because that's another way that some of this anti debugger malware figures out that you have a debugger. Okay. Hmm. That could be. That could be from VMware. But let's just Google this just to see if this is. That could just be VMware. Okay, that still seems like a Windows component. VM loader is trusted. I installed that on purpose. GP extensions. Yeah, that doesn't look overly. Okay. Here's one. Where is that for? Okay, far more found. WMI? Yeah. 
So these types of things. We should actually rerun this as an administrator just to verify. But that is where the sketchy stuff comes from. So this is a really great tool, auto runs, helps you get rid of this type of malware. Of the easiest way to get rid of malware is to reinstall Windows, but that, that would be a really boring video. And it wouldn't... Okay, so we remove this, because this is clearly malicious. I'm going to remove this just because I don't, I don't, don't think it has any reason to be here. These are all trustworthy. Scheduled tasks is commonly filled with stuff, but in this case it doesn't seem like anything dodgy is in here. Boot, execute, image hijacks. Just double check. But the main thing to check is task scheduler and anything else where malware might be hiding. Okay, create this. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want malware bytes premium, we just want the free malware bytes. Oh, we still have Defender. <laughs> Not that that does anything. That is why we, that is why we use this. Ooh. Wow. It's installed itself in the Windows folder. Trusted Logos is not legit. Adware.proxyage. That has got to be the most. Okay, that is actually some really scummy malware. Trusted logos. Just look this up. Trusted logos. Adware. Yeah, the uninstaller is also malware. Registry values, okay, process. Didn't even couldn't even catch this running, so it's cloaked itself well. That's a pop. Hack tool. Oh, that's because of that just came with this dodgy Windows ISO, but we can still get rid of it because I don't want it. Now we're getting rid that was a stealthy, like a lot of adware is extremely blatant. You just see these humongous in your face like flash animated like ads that you just you know are not part of the website but these ones like they look like google ads okay we're gonna restart now when we reboot hopefully all the adware will be gone so yeah this is surprisingly intelligent malware pretending to be csgo hacks just gonna let's just nuke all of the csgo hacks off of this computer They no longer have malware. And this is the end result, which I think nukes itself, sort of like the Will Creates did. So there we go, we now have a clean virtual machine again, relatively. I'd say we pretty much got a clean bill of health, so that's going to be all for this video. Don't install CS code sheets from dodgy hacked YouTube channels. I guess that's the lesson here. Bye.